Well, first of all, by the way, you mentioned uh, autonomous uh, vehicles, and that's another great <laughs> uh, innovation story, which I think just about pretty much almost everybody at least has been pretty surprised at, at, at how fast uh, that has been coming, uh, coming at us. And, and there, um, at least up to now, the, um, uh, the regulatory structures have been more at the state level. Uh, and uh, although, as you heard uh, not so long ago, um, uh, the administration, our administration, has made a major commitment to, uh, to, uh, to advancing uh, that, that in the uh, uh, research development demonstration uh, arena. In terms of uh, uh, legislation, first of all, uh, I want to emphasize that there's an interplay, if you like, between legislation and, and, and executive action. Uh, so uh, one thing which is clearly a uh, major consequence uh, is the increased CAFE standards uh, uh, which have been put in place, which have a legislative, a legislative underpinning, which goes back, by the way, uh, a long time, into the 1970s, when we had the first major increase in the CAFE standards, followed by a long plateau, uh, and now the, uh, the nearly doubling uh, into the uh, above 50 miles per gallon uh, by, uh, by, by 2025. So, you know, I, I think the, that the, the, uh, the, I think executive action along, along those lines will be uh, extremely important. What I think will be very important is the interplay between the technology development and the kinds of standards, again, CAFE standards are easy to talk about in terms of efficiency numbers. Uh, uh, and what, in many ways, we would say these R&D programs that we are talking about are about developing the technologies to economically meet those kinds of standards in the future. So I think that's, that's where a critical, critical interplay uh, takes place. We have time for one more question. Gabe. 